Hello, everyone. <clears throat> this is War in the Pacific Admiral Edition with Friedrich. Um, I, I'm the Allies against TF-1377, who is Japan. Let us see what March 29 has in store for us. Okay. Anti-submarine in action by the Pearl Har by Pearl Harbor. Okay, Salmon, let's keep the zero percent hit rate or explosion rate coming. Yeah. And let's waste torpedoes on an escort. Why not? Okay, look at all that. Look at all that. Ah, oh, if I could have sunk 20 of those. <laughs> uh, what a shame. All right, so here's the thing. I don't know if it was the Selman. I, I didn't pay attention to the name, but the torpedo hits, doesn't explode. And so let's sink it with deck guns. That's what we're doing. And tearing it up, really, critical couple of critical hits, so, um, yeah. I don't know if it'll sink it. I mean, it's a light cargo ship, so maybe, but in fires, too. But it's, you know, it's just a deck gun, so we'll see. Severe engine damage? I don't know. This might do it in. Oh, a torpedo hit. What? A Mark 14 torpedo hit? Ah, you messed up my ratio. Okay, so 0% is no longer a, uh, a thing. We'll have to start over tomorrow, or, well, after this hit. Wow. It'll sink now, especially with that torpedo hit anyway. Yeah, there it goes. <gasps> oh! We got a tanker. Oh, the K-11 is tearing that thing up and then going deep. Uh, but this guy has the mod 2. I think those can reach further down. So K-11 is going to have to try to escape here. Um, but he apparently gets away. Oh, two torpedo hits. Our subs have not been doing well lately, so this turn has been decent for that. Oh, I think that tanker just sank. Oh, man. So bad for him. I don't know how many of these things he has, but that, that looked huge. I'll have to look at the stats on it. Man, it almost looked like a carrier so big. All right, the I-7 here by Pearl. Trying to do some depth charges at it. Ah, uh, he gets away. All right, the Polak. Firing at a PB for some reason, patrol boat. Now, maybe it's escorting something, or maybe it's just uh, circling the um, island to watch out for subs like mine. All right, the Schley is going to see what it can do with, to the I-7. I don't know how it can get a good hit uh, when it says it loses contact, but it fired anyway. Air operations, guys. So, first of all, no naval fights, so there's that. For what it, I should have said, for what it's worth, there was no naval fights. All right, so he pulled out his zeros. He, um, or he's not flying cap anyway. All right, so he's bombing our mm, coastal minesweeper. Ooh, that's going to go down. What, obliterated? I mean, that's just gone. He's just wiped off the map. All right, he's bombing our troops here. In the tab. 
uh, out of supply, weakened troops. But, um, you know, it's not a bad idea. He's getting experience, and he is beating these guys up. So, you know, hey, why not, right? All right. We're bombing some more as these troops are trying to get out of this hex. And it reminded me, too, that I should be bombing. There's another hex where he's moving troops that I need to be bombing to knock him out of move mode. So, uh, and Thunderstorms is going to kind of hinder some of this, but we will do it. All right, B-17s bombing the runway. No, no allied losses, but um, didn't get anything on, didn't hit anything of his either. All right, we're bombing his ground troops here because we're shooting him with artillery as well. So I got to thinking, you know, maybe we should ah, clear sky and nothing. Well, um, anyway, I thought maybe it wouldn't hurt to soften that up. But apparently he got all of his planes out. Fly dump hits, runway hits. So, I mean, we're not making it pleasant, that's for sure. But look at all this. Like, just what a waste. Well, I hope we don't lose any planes to operations because of it. I I could have sworn he was going to have some uh, leave. Uh, he was going to um, at least have whatever damaged fighters still there. May, maybe he disbanded it. I don't know. Or withdrew. Um, I don't know. But our bombers didn't hit any aircraft on the ground. I guess I'll say that. I wonder if he gave up on Numea. I, honestly... I, I might if I were him because it's hard to fight that far south um, and to keep that line of communications up. Uh, our, our bombers decided not to go. Oh, well. I mean, I think they were on naval attack, but surely there's some naval targets now. As they get closer and closer to Java, I should be able to... Yeah, look at this. Unable to locate. I guess the weather's bad here. Ah, this is what it is. Oh, man. Hmm. I wasn't prepared. He's got some um, various things flying here. Let's just get through this. I, my bombers are... Oh, they all made it. Ah, that's a shocker. Uh, they're not going to hit anything anyway, are they? Well, I had them training, but, you know, I mean... It's just hard to bomb with level bombers. Maybe if they had, if we had some torpedo bombers or something, but uh, they're they're gonna probably have to stand down after that, just because you know damage and whatnot. And that's another reason they might have missed those ships. Um, they were intercepted, so maybe they their accuracy was dropped. Um. Yeah, that's that. So, that was kind of unev uneventful turn here. But, you know, I'll take... The more it turns like that, the, more, the it's better for us. All right, he's bombarding us at Lafoa. So, he takes a disabled engineer. He's bombarding us at Chusian. See, he brought in another division. Next turn, he should just be able to walk over us. Uh, we're bombarding back. We are bringing another artillery regiment as soon as we can, though. Nothing doing. All right, some expansions, including, wow, chunking to eight airfield. Nice. So, I guess that's that. I'm going to check. Uh, I, I, last turn, I didn't show you the air losses, but nothing really happened. It was very uneventful. It was mainly the air losses from my, my bombardment, which was literally 1-0. Uh, so, it was very minimal. But I'll look at it first thing this time, because 
the main thing is I want to look at if I had some ops losses after all of my operations here, plus my B-25s. All right, be right back. So it comes up here at Pearl, and it was it just kind of found this humorous. We've got four small ASW for task uh, forces just sitting right here in this X. I mean, I have them circling here, but it's, it just caught me funny sitting, watching, looking at four in one hex. Uh, I'll probably break off some DMS, uh, destroy minesweepers. First of all, I may, let me see. March 30, March 31. I may bring everything that's supposed to upgrade, bring it back to Pearl um, tomorrow, the 31st, have it disband at port so that we can convert um, upgrade. I know some, some people may not want to upgrade all at once, but I think I'm in a safe enough place, at least here at Pearl. I've got ASW bombers. Plus, I'm taking this route where I'm coming up Lahaina or, or coming up the islands here. And I think we're okay um, with whatever ASW we will, assets we will have between our bombers and uh, small ships that aren't upgrading that I think will be okay. And uh, then as soon as I get some DMS um, f uh, upgraded and ready to go... I'm going to bring them here. One of the things I'm going to do is just make sure there's no Japanese minefields, but also maybe hunt the hunt these subs that might be sitting here. Um, maybe do a, a... I mean, he's got some auxiliary. If we finally have spotting here, detection 3 or 4. So we, we finally flew there. Okay. He still has some damage from a... Uh, I don't know. What did we do? Oh... That could be damaged from when he took it. It could have taken that long to repair. Speaking of which, we wrecked this so bad, it's going to take probably the same amount of time. Same amount of ungodly time. Okay, so uh, let's let's check the 160th. Where are we at with this? Okay, guys. Okay. All we have left is 32 motorized support total. That may still take a couple of turns or more, but... And, and we have zero naval support in any of these units. So uh, I, don't, I don't know that we're going to see that unloaded anytime soon. Or, I mean, um, the speed increased on these loads and unloads. Uh, and this is foolish because it's not going to happen for a really long time here. But, all right. I just wanted to check on this, and we've got some regular aviation support. Uh, I do plan to bring a fighter squadron and a dive bomber squadron, at least, if not more. This, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to keep unloading. I'm not going to take this much stuff to... Curry Island and so yeah alright I just I just thought that I just wanted to stop here there's really nothing to see I'm going to keep reconning this uh, for a little bit because I'm trying to get oh our B-17Ds we're in good shape let's, let's just make sure real quick six days for that one Two days for that one, and um, 20. Wow. All right. Um, stand this one down. So that's what I get. All I do is fly one recon mission. They finally take off, and the plane um, decides that it, it's broken. Okay. Um, what are these guys training on? Recon. Um, we'll do the same, actually. Get that up. Bump that up a bit. What's your uh, recon value at? Okay, pretty good, actually. Let's um, let's go for a fly uh, flyover. No, I'll 
you know what, I'll take a day break in between. Because really, I mean, we've got a pretty good eye. Uh, I don't even see his troops, though. So that's kind of... I wonder if... It'd be interesting if he came in and pulled them out. I doubt it, but... And we got a lot of subs here, and we haven't saw, seen anything. So, oh, sorry, guys. I got carried away with this, uh, thinking this was funny, that I totally missed what I promised. Okay, one ops loss. Whoa, nine ops losses, one air-to-air. -air. Wonder what happened there. Well, oh, ah, so... The Pete that intercepted our bombers got tore up and probably crashed when they tried to get back to their ship. And the Nates, two Nates, where were the Nates? It could be he's just shuffling Nates. I don't remember seeing, were they Nates over the Java Sea? Maybe so. Man, why can't I? That was a pretty terrible memory. Um, you know what? I, I don't ever look at this. Let's look at it. Um, it's, it's kind of short anyway because not, not really much happened so let's do this okay sb3 bombing raid okay all right okay it was nates okay uh, why i guess i was thinking they were naval planes but i don't know uh we destroyed a p with our B-25 shooting it down. And then uh, I guess three more Pete's crashed uh, on return and one Nate must have crashed on return. Um, was it two? I think it was two. So let's take a look again because that was pretty nuts. Uh, what what did we lose? Uh, a P-439. See, that sweep became a waste of a plane and hopefully not a pilot, but we'll take a look at that too. A Babs lost to Ops, Sally lost to Ops, Oscar. So some attrition going on here. Not not enough to wear down his force. Uh, you know, these are replaceable. Uh, let's list top pilots. Okay, good. Pilots are fine. The plane is easier to replace, in my opinion. Ship sunk. Will it show us what we sank? Uh, it'll show us the Bataan Island one, the AKL, which we tore into. We're three points. It, I don't, who knows what I had on it, but it wasn't troops. I'm per, I'm almost 100% certain. So, yeah, it's just a regular AKL. Nothing fancy. We lost this one point coastal minesweeper. Um, so yeah, it, it's just the, the goal was to sit there and do its job and it did. And, uh, then it didn't because, I mean, it never did anything because it never needed to, but it's no longer exists. I can't, I can't look up the stats on that tanker because, um, but I can look at this again and then we, fall, we can look up the ship. Let's see here. The San Clemente Maru. Actually, I don't know what class that is. Mm, Japanese ships type. So I don't know which of these tankers it's going to be. Okay, I guess I passed it. Because I thought it was alphabetical. I went all the way to the bottom. Oh, it is alphabetical, but it went the reverse order. Uh, so I don't know which of these it is. I'm not that savvy with Japanese ships, but it was pretty sizable. So I wonder if it was one of these bigger ones. Um, I don't remember it looking exactly like that. But I mean, it did look like kind of like a carrier with the, uh, the line at the top, like a deck. Not quite. I don't think it was a Tonin Whaler. I don't think it was. Man, if it was, look at that. That would be nuts. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll learn about it sometime in the future. Pretty sure we sank it, though. Um, okay. So got that, got that taken care of. 
Hilo should be uh, unloading. We've got the 108th and the 185th um, unloading. Uh, let's see if the 108th is done. Okay, this is empty. Wow, that was so fast. I think we have a lot of, um, what's the word? A lot of, oh, the 108th is still unloading because it was on three separate ships only. Whereas the 185th was on only was on many, so it was easier to unload. Some mortar motorized support still unloading on both of these ships. So I think one more turn, and uh, so this will go back to poor San Francisco, and that's totally fine. There's they're not needed anymore in this specific vicinity at this time. I may pull these four boats and send them back to um, Pearl. So I don't didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna form ASW. Let's take all four of these and go to Pearl. Okay. So auto disband they can fuel, refuel i don't know why i have them refuel here because because i'm extremely negligent and forgetful when it comes to that kind of stuff i'm i try to be more careful when i'm building a task force but obviously i failed right there um so uh i think it's the 185th yes that's fully unloaded so we're just gonna sit here combat uh let's see yeah we'll sit here in combat and just let it sit there build up and um relax so that's hawaii and we already looked at midway uh everything's still operating as we would like uh i'd, I'd like midway to be a little faster but otherwise it's fine all right, these transports are supposed to be picking up a couple of things, the base force here and the engineers here. Unfortunately, I neglected to switch them to strategic mode earlier, and so they're sitting here uh, still flipping and packing so that we can bring them up. Uh, th and this is on its way. It should take two turns. So I've promised myself I will, in advance, come here and flip this to strategic mode because I don't want to make the same mistake again. And it will take two days, so it will be ready the turn that this task group is here. And the other thing I wanted to flip, um, brain, 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 I think was this artillery because it can use the cargo ship that should be available oh uh, here um that also is going to take two days and i do not have anything else that is only needing and this is going to be light okay i hate to do it but it's going to be light force holding because um you know i can't be heavy everywhere and I feel like I'm light in too many places. So if I'm light enough here, sure, I'm going to still have, look, 136 AV. He's going to require a division to take this. Even two regiments won't take this base. We, we're too strong here, right? Uh, I'm going to pull the 164th Infantry Regiment. I'm going to pull some of these things. Not all, some. And so we'll still have some AV here. We'll still have this 14 and some things. We'll still have this battalion of artillery. So I'm not I'm not um, evacuating by no means. It's just I, I just can't keep this much stuff here uh, just sitting here. The action is down here. If the action changes to here, I don't think I could do anything. Uh, I mean, if he came as strong as he came here, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Carriers, battleships, he could really demolish this. And we don't have, we have times two defense here. Here is times three. So this is a lot easier to hold, but it's also harder to retake. I think I just need to stack this up so high that we can, and, and that's why I'm bringing another artillery regiment. 
because I just want to get massed artillery here and just bombard this uh, every turn. I mean, look at this. I've already got supposedly 1,800 guns. I know, again, I know they're not all artillery pieces, but still. Uh, it's certainly a lot more than 215, but <clears throat> anyway. I want to get these 24 guns back over here. Um, and, and that may that may help us um, really hurt this unit. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I just really, my focus needs to be here. And then what I need to do is when I feel like he's really um, uh, abandoned Kumahawk, I, I need to, I think I need to invade it again. Uh, that might sound like foolhardy. <clears throat> and when I say that, by the way, I'm not talking about in a week or two. I'm talking about, you know, maybe a month to three months. It's not. You know, it's not going to happen tomorrow. But I think in order to win this war, win this battle here, I need to take Kumak. And if he wants to pile up, I mean, last we saw here, <clears throat> he's retreating to Kumak. And I, I don't know. Is it because he's going to say, we're going to bug out. Like, all the damage is way too high to hold this and to fool around. I, I, I don't know. But that said, um, I kind of want to keep doing what I'm doing here. So we'll keep reconning Kumak. We'll keep bombing the troops at, at Lafoa. And we'll keep using our B-17s to hit Kumak, I think. Um, I may assign only uh, maybe one sweep per turn instead of two and instead of so uh th this this is this is just a bunch of admin basically i'm gonna have one sweep every so often to make sure uh never mind look if if he had flown zeros down this turn but look at all this day i'm moving the mouse Look at this damage. There's a lot of things going on here. He has a one level airfield and the 31 damage probably keeps his zeros grounded. So I don't see him flying um, any any error, any zeros into Kumak. So I think we're okay there. And, and also, if we're constantly reconning this, we should always have eyes on if he has fighters here and if he does we'll sweep if he doesn't you know why bother and if he doesn't have zeros here he's not flying cap over any of these uh if kb arrives he is but look at this coverage i i mean is it possible our our spotters don't see it as it comes through yes it's possible and is it also possible he could warp his carriers in that is also possible however i don't foresee it happening in the near future uh, also again we have coverage way up here even over a ball so speaking of which yeah i mean it's possible we didn't see a carrier in and there's one up here but uh, still that's a lot uh, let's let's take a look. So let's say in order to get here coverage over Kumak, let's say he needs to be well here. I mean let's let's be liberal and give him the benefit of the doubt to get here and get zeros flying long range cap up there. Look at that, 24. That's a little bit out of his warp speed. So all right. I've spent enough time on that. Now, this is my bombardment group going back to port. Uh, replenishment. Oh, wow. We could have stayed there and bombarded another turn. What was I thinking? Oh. Well, hmm. What is the Colorado? Uh, that was the, the worst bite. Yeah. It's fine. Um, we, I think we terrorized him enough. And besides... Um, you never know about KB, like like I just was talking about that I felt safe from. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It's tempting though. Tempting to go again. I don't know. 
I mean, nobody used nobody used much of their ammo. This is this is ludicrous. All right, we gotta go again. I should have done this last turn. Um, uh, I'm gonna turn off escorts bombard. We'll just we'll just bring in these guys, let them hit it and leave. No, no need to. Yeah. This is going to take at least two turns, though. Because one turn to get in position, and then one turn to warp speed in. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to just real quick digress and say, you know, in his shoes, I think as much as I'm putting him a fight here, uh, the fighter cover over here and all the things... Uh, the the bombing of his battleships as he came to bombard. I think with all the action that happened here, I would be extra, I would be saying I'm out. You know, there's better things I could do with these divisions and than pile them in a in a lost cause. Now, is it a lost cause if he uh, if <laughs> is it a lost cause if he put all like all his resources in here? No, he would win this island. But at what cost, you know, um, opportunity cost is what is the word of the day for this. So he's losing momentum in other uh, um, area. What, what am I trying to say? Um, uh, theaters. Yeah. In other theaters, like, uh, for example, Port Moresby or, um, you know, I, he may have plenty of troops for the Dutch East Indies to wrap that up without um, having to pull guys from New, from New Caledonia. Uh, but he could be, okay, Espiritu, San, Espiritu Santo is kind of an easier, well, it's easier than New, Maya, New, New Caledonia. Um, he, he has been taking some of these islands, and that's, you know, good for him. But he could have like pulled. He could have shot in here, Canton. He could have uh, Pago Pago even. I mean, we we're trying to get something there. We're trying to build that up, but slow, very slowly. Suva is, is not ready for an, for uh, to handle an invasion. So these are things that could be targeted. While while and he could just say, you know. I'm done with this, at least for now, because he could take these, let's say. Uh, that would put a damper on my ability to replenish and resupply this. And then he could, you know, do other things, take some of these. Um, then say, okay, now I'll try to take this, because I'll bring KB and battleships, and we'll, we'll really hammer this. I don't know. I have... Honestly, I haven't played the Japanese, so I don't have the answers, but um, I only have questions. But it just seems like this has been a lot of effort. Supplies that have to get pumped in here. There's a lot going on. Fuel to get KB back and forth and back and forth and battleships too. So, um, all right. The other thing is LB-30. I... Uh, feel like flying this as well because with no fighters there should be a safe bet right so I'm going to do it we only have four going um, four still repairing but I'm looking here again because my B-17 is airfield airfield and then I have a port strike I think that's okay keep the port suppressed and really, you know, the airfield doesn't have anything based at it anyway. So we're not going to be hitting airplanes if we bomb the airfield. Um, Buna, I, I don't know that I'm ready to hit that again. One of the things I'm seriously wanting to do, I'll be frank, is upgrade this to B-17E. And I'm afraid if I do that now, this, this won't go back to the pool. So I feel like I need to wait four more days, upgrade that to E's, and then I can distribute the D's to uh, back to Pearl where they have the range on Johnston Island. That's that's exactly what I'm thinking. 
All right, Makassar has a lot of stuff going on. I think what he did, he could have some light carriers here, and he does have a CS. So never mind. I thought I was going to say I think he was flying cap, long range cap here, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, Southwest. Okay. <laughs> This is massive. This is massive. So he's coming to Surabaya, I think. Or uh, one of these islands and he'll work his way up. Um, so it's time. We're going to suicide it. I mean, these guys did the best. What do we got here? Nothing else. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Southwest. I mean, you know, Southwest could be the zigzag pattern. You know, just doot, doot, doot. And uh, it looks like Southwest because the last hex it went down was that. So it could technically be West now. Uh, it could still be coming here, work it his way, you know, from here up. Oh, man. I just don't know what to do with these guys. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, you know, I think for now, one, let's look, three. For now, that's what I'm going to do. Just leave it at three react. And if I change my mind as I'm looking over the turn before I submit it, send it on, um, if I make change my mind, great. You know, fine. If I don't, then as these ships come here, they might react and hit something. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay if I lose these ships because you know, um, I mean the dragon is fine. Uh, the dragon I might pull out of there. I might. Um, I don't know how. Um, maybe top speed to Christmas because there's some fuel there. So, uh, I may do that much. These other ships, uh, the Stronghold too. I'll, I'll get the British stuff out of there. The Dutch stuff can defend it, can defend uh, Dutch, can defend Dutch. Um, hate to say it that way, but these, these are going to be, you know, have better range, better upgrade chances, I believe. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, these this upgrades. I mean, I don't know. So well, that's fine. So these two ships are gonna hightail it out of there. In fact, we're gonna put Coco's there and Christmas for my first rot leg. And we're just going to flank. Flank speed. Refuel there. Refuel when we get there. And then we can move on to Coco's. Okay. I feel like that's the thing. All right. Um, good enough. Now. Uh, this is the Padang transport leaving. Um, yeah, still on its way. Uh, looks looks fine. Looks fine. Got some transport ships bringing supply to Rangoon. Got to keep it coming. Look at that. 37,000. We're getting low. Uh, part of the reason for that, I hope, is it's going all to China. And I'll, that's fine. Because this, this will only last so long. And this is what I was talking about. What I want to do is say, okay... I don't want you to be in move mode. You're probably moving extremely slowly, but I don't want you to move even that fast. We're gonna, we're gonna temper that speed here and um, remind you this is British territory. This will not reach at even 11 all the way down here, so. That's oh, 12, just out of range. I, I um, kind of wanted to use this base because it's scare capacity 4, so it can use its full load. Not, not this far, of course. I mean, it can't even make it. But anyway, 
So, yeah, it, it looks like this is the start of the Burma camp. Well, I mean, this is the start, but this is the, this is the um, trigger that's going to, like, um, the trigger mechanism that's going to kick in the next phase. Uh, over here, China, China. Okay. Yeah, this, this, uh, we, there's way more than 5,000 here, but this is, uh, I don't see him doing anything but a deliberate attack. Honestly, I think he did, a, I, I think I understand. He did a bombardment because this division was not here yet, that, that third, uh, second division. So he did a bombardment. Now he's going to have two divisions plus, uh, auxiliary unit and he'll attack i'm sure deliberate attack this coming turn and uh, we won't know what what hit us uh we just got a little tiny fort level there and we'll we'll get wrecked so okay and when that falls i think he's coming for this this is going to be a much tougher nut to crack for multiple reasons uh no actually this is times three this is times two uh, but our fort level is four, so that's going to be very helpful. A lot better than one. Okay, so, but this is, at worst, for him, it'll be two to one. It might even be worse than that, just because of the um, troop experience, equipment, uh, you know, uh, readiness, morale, all the things stacked in his favor. Um... Yeah, we're bugging out. I, I don't know where this unit went, but we don't see it anymore. I'm staying put here. I'm just leaving to go to Yan'an. There's no reason to sit here anyway. Plus, we're low on supplies. That's kind of a waste just sitting way out here in the desert. So, yeah. Um, not Maybe maybe not desert, but it's, it's not... Uh, the best terrain it, it's not the best um, foraging anyways um, or certainly no path to it as well looks like he's got a guy going this way still which I still don't understand and a guy going this way so I may divert these bombers because why not to attack this hex where where did it go oof all right let's attack this hex with everything because we can knock these guys out of move mode yeah um this hex we were bombing down here this one here i don't know what came of it i'm gonna um i'm gonna call off my bombers the last thing we need is for him to start flying cap here so, well, we're not ready. Plus, uh, well, I mean, we're not f even fatigued, but let's, I guess we can pick another target. Uh, what's the clear? We could hit this again. With five bombers, it's not going to do much damage, but. Okay, so I'm also very excited about April for multiple reasons, the upgrades, but new air units. You know, it's always nice every month when there's new and better air units that I can upgrade to. So one of the reasons I bring that up is exactly this. So we're depleted. We Our bombers are depleted. You can blame the commander-in-chief, but... Still, they're depleted. But also, I mean, they're how good are they? Well, let's take a look. Yeah. Basically, we'll round this to 200 pounds. Let's, I mean, we can bump it up a bit higher, 220, let's say. So, this carries six 220-pound bombs. I mean, that's not going to be a lot. However, um, in, well, this, I don't know. Uh, let's just say the next upgrade is the Hudson's. Now, we have to wait till July for that. But, I mean, every month that ticks is a month closer to July, right? So, um, so then let's look at something else. Um, 
Well, let's go back here. The Hawks. These will upgrade to the Vanguards in also in July. So, well, that's a way of the way. Um, but the I-16s, they will upgrade to the Vanguards also. All right, never mind. But we do get the P-43A Lancers. And I can't remember where I saw that. Um, not, not here, certainly, right? Uh, or there. I don't know. Maybe I was looking back at um, the I-15s here. Um, nope. Everything's upgrading the P-66. I mean the default. Yeah, yeah, you know, we have player-defined upgrades. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we still, in April, we'll get the P-43s. So that'll be kind of nice. Uh, equip, our, equip our fighters with that. And then move them to some of these bases like Changsha, Quailin, uh, and also Sion, and maybe also Yanan. And if we can base them out here in places like that, then um, here, here we go. Here's one. But if we can get these fighters based forward a bit, then when he's ready to do his new offensives with bombing raids, you know, we'll be able to intercept them. Down in this area, I don't see us setting up fighter bases, so they're they're going to have to just hold their own. And so far, so good. But again, when he when he decides to put a concerted effort into it, I think it's going to be um, a walkover. I just don't want the line to get past. I mean, I'd like it if he didn't get past uh, Changsha, Ping Ping Xiang. And we may lose this one. It's clear after all. But like a line like this. And then to here. And he can go around this river. I mean this road. And own that. Own the road even let's say. But we own this base and behind. And then if we can own this base. And behind. And over to. I should have probably held Wu Chow better. The reason I pulled out is clear. But this is pretty good uh, hex to be in, wooded rough. So if we can hold this line here, and then again up uh, to Changsha, we may hold this the rest of the war. And then um, up this, have this road clear uh, to Nanning even. I think we'll be okay, like this, this little area. I think this is a great line to hold. I think it's doable. So, and that's our goal. That's our goal. Um, I would say we'll put all our effort into it. We have not yet as far as, I mean, it's not like we have stacked AV in all these. But at a moment's notice, these guys can run back here. I can evacuate this anytime. I, I'm not married to this base, that's for sure. We can just bolt and get into Kukong. This guy can pull back to here. And these guys are... This this is holding this um, crossroad so that if th if this falls they'll back fall back here if this falls they'll fall back here and back to here or maybe all the way to Kukong if this is going to hold out on its own and probably be cut off although fortunately it can make its own stuff this hex uh, well is going to fall this turn I believe okay. I've rambled enough, almost 50 minutes, and um, Zamboanga, I don't remember seeing a bombing raid there. Uh, I'm probably going to start disbanding these planes. He He's done here, and whatever he's going to do is just insignificant. It's a waste. Uh, if he if he mm, if he bombed here instead of here, I'd feel better because then I would feel like that I was getting use out of these fighters. Uh, but unfortunately, it feels like just a waste having them sit there. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, Darwin. All right. Uh, I don't know why I was coming here. But this guy is very close to Catherine. And then I'm going to rail him here. And we will have the whole 1st Australian Division. So that'll be great. Um, all right. I'm done here. I, I've talked enough. Uh, I may not have talked about everything that I want, would want to or that you would want to hear. Uh, but feel free to let me know what else might be interesting to you. And um, I can at least 
give you as many updates as I can and hopefully um, cover it in a future episode if, not, if possible. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And hope you guys all have a uh, great rest of your day. Bye.